Hey everybody, it's Stephen James, author of Discover Torch Enameling. The peeps have arrived. These are my peep-inspired torch enameled pendants for Easter. And it's a pretty iconic candy. And there is actually a way to use the sugar coat texture from the enameling process in a finished peep pendant. I thought the rabbit shape uh, would be really fun and festive and it's a little easier to work with than the standard uh, yellow peep that you often see this time of year. So stay tuned to learn how to make the peep inspired sugar coat Easter pendant. You'll need to actually create three copper nibs using your helicopter hole punch and you probably should make a few extra just in case you want to get the the most perfectly round nibs for your peep eyes. You'll need a copper piece that's about 36 by 20 millimeters uh, in size. You can use the same piece actually to create the nibs for the eyes. You'll trace the template on to the copper with a sharpie marker. If you know how to use a jeweler saw, I might encourage you to use that, but you can actually create this project with a simple pair of metal shears. And I just start kind of cutting into the piece and finding the best places to do it. At some point, you're going to turn it over and retrace the template, which is what I've done here, because how the shears are angled makes it a little difficult to cut. So. Just keep cutting until you get to a point where it looks good and uh, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is filing. Once you cut out your metal, you actually need to file with a metal file and you can see some of the areas that it's really important to get rid of any kind of sharp edges. So file away. Now you're going to use a handheld hole punch. You can also use your helicopter punch to create a hole in the top of the pendant. And if there's a little burr that is created, use the file to get rid of it. Prior to sifting onto the metal, you want to use two trivets back to back. They're set up like this. You're going to put it on your kiln brick. And then I think it's always a good idea to place the copper on the firing setup to see where it's going to sit. So do that now. Prior to countering enameling, you need to use Penny Bright to clean the backside of your bunny. Clean the backside with Penny Bright, thoroughly rinse and dry off before you add the black counter enamel. You'll add a black counter enamel to the back of your bunny and you sift it following the shape of the, the rabbit. And you can see that I've put the copper piece on a plastic bottle stilt. This will allow me to easily pick it up and transfer it to my firing setup, which is two trivets. After a minute, you can use a pair of nose pliers to pick up the project. The fire skill needs to be cleaned off so let it cool for about five minutes before you clean it off with Penny Bright. I let the Penny Bright do a little bit of the cleaning and so I'm adding a thin layer of Penny Bright to it and then I'm going to drop it into the water bowl and let it sit for about 10 minutes. The Penny Bright actually gets rid of a lot of the fire scale oxidation and you can see I'm rubbing it away with my finger. You'll need to actually use more Penny Bright and that toothbrush to get rid of any trouble areas. So get to it. I think any pastel color is going to be great for this project. I'm using pastel pink right now. I've also used mint green and sky blue. Again, sift and follow the shape of the rabbit and make sure you have a nice even layer. The next step is to actually put in the bunny eyes. I find this to be the hardest part of the entire project. It's actually placing the copper nibs into the enamel. You can see I've already done two of them and now I'm putting its mouth in. I'm going to use a fine point 
pair of tweezers to do so and then lightly tap them so that they are surrounded by enamel. The next step is to fire this project for the first time. After allowing the project to cool, you're going to sift another layer of the same color right on top of the piece. You're only going to fire it to sugar coat, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. This is the second fire with the pastel pink. I'm using a smaller torch because I don't want to over fire. The second layer, I want to retain the sugar coat. You can see that the torch is actually angled down towards the kiln brick. I'm using the heat that comes up off of the kiln brick to actually bring that second layer of enamel to sugar coat. It's going to fuse to the, the layer that's below without over firing to fully fuse. So you really have to manage this process very carefully. Once cool, it's time to add black paint to the copper. You're going to use a diamond file and some water. I'm using the point of the diamond file to get rid of the fire scale oxidation on the copper. I'm going to dry it off and then I'm going to use a paint pen. If you're scared of the paint pen, you can actually use a Sharpie marker, but both tips should be fine point. Carefully add the paint to the copper and allow to dry and set. The last thing to do is string this onto a necklace. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please email me at stephenjames at macaroniandglitter.com.